this is Chaitali Bag, Chief of Bureau with Aviation Defense Universe. We are at Air India uh, 2023 and I am at Good Cell Pavilion. I'm sitting with Captain Ajay Chauhan who is Director Civil Aviation Department with Government of Gujarat and he holds the position of CEO with Good Cell. Today from uh, Captain Ajay Chauhan, we are going to know more about the project that Good Cell is taking over with the project that it's working on and of course Gujarat the pet state of our Prime Minister welcome to the show sir welcome to our chat room thank you so much for your time thank you so sir uh, tell us more about Good Say what are the uh, defense cap capabilities that you defense and aviation capabilities that Good Sail is uh, exploring so uh, Good Sail is a very newly born company, you know, Gujarat State had envisaged this company by when Honorable PM was CM that time. In year 2010, we created this company with the whole concept that, you know, we have to first build the infrastructure for actually getting anybody to get the business to the state. With that aim, we started this company and we have now created a lot many airstrips, a lot of land bank. We are actually doing a lot of... Um, MRO activities and connectivity activities. Based on that, you know, in the 2014 when Honorable Prime Minister moved to Delhi, that is the time, you know, we also started working on the interstate, interstate connectivity with Udan scheme from Government of India and BGF scheme from the state government. As far as defense is concerned, we also are working on having a lot of uh, setups in which defense can come and you know set up their manufacturing units they can set up their mros they can set up their training units and for that what is required is the infrastructure and we are working and we have created a world-class infrastructure in our state where which will be open to them very shortly so sir uh, when you're talking about uh, the infrastructure development that you are doing what exactly are you uh, doing uh, what kind of infrastructure development you are doing to attract the foreign companies because according in the Make in India Atul Nirbhar Bharat project it is mandatory now for the foreign defense companies to have an Indian subsidy and uh, most of the states like Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Hyderabad everybody is creating aerospace hub, defense hub so how what what is that that Gujarat is providing extra that it will attract the companies See, as far as the um foreign companies to be coming to Gujarat and doing their investment. Most of the states play a very similar kind of role. If you see, you know, the incentives which can be given are, are limited to few of them. What Gujarat offers is similar incentive, a larger, larger infrastructure, you know, setup, which is, you know, the the, um, the communication, the, the traveling, the mode of, you know, uh, being available at a short time. You know, we, we do not have those kind of issues when a foreign company wants to come and set up. Our infrastructure in the state is one of the best. You don't feel stressed. You don't feel, uh, you know, uh, difficulty in commuting. You don't. So these are small things which actually, you know, trouble the people. Apart from the incentives which are already which the, you know, Karnataka state or let us say UP government have done, we are coming out with our own policy and we already have our aerospace defense policy which has a lot of incentives in there. We are coming out with a civil aviation policy, clubbing with the aerospace defense policy which will have more attractive uh, 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 setup in which you know you could get a lot of subsidies for setting up new units there. It's a six pillar concept policy which we have. We are working you know for aerospace defense and research is one of the pillars in which you know there will be a lot of incentives which will be uh, brought out. We will be shortly declaring the policy maybe you know means end of this month once we are ready with the policy you will be reading about it. Right. When we talk about ease of business, now all the Western companies, they have a complete different work culture. And when they come to India, definitely they look for ease of business. How do, how do you think you can provide them that, that ease of business, um, uh, removing the problems of bureaucracy and rectivism, so that they are more happy and easy to come and work with Indian companies? 
so what happens is that you know means if you see the setup in our state aviation is is involving with the aviation people you know what happens is it's very difficult to actually when you said like you know policy decisions are taken at bureaucratic level you know this is these are decisions which the state has to take but when now when the productivity comes or when the when you are wanting to attract the people to work you know giving them the environment or giving them that single window clearance which you talk it is this is when you need people who actually understand each other and we are creating that kind of team you know which is going to actually understand each other's requirement and be able to guide them clearly instead of you know they have to go to deal with different people this that is the one reason why gutsel was set up and gutsel is uh, probably one company which is doing very well in the entire country and other states are now wanting to replicate because it is a nodal agency so when you talk single window window so you come to gutsel that's a single window for you you get the policy clearances are done by the state you already have all the documents with you, you just file up your requirements what you want and everything is online and you just have to deal with one company and a uh, maybe a nodal officer from that company will be appointed to you to do with your task so basically what i understand is you provide a complete solution for those companies to come and set up their units manufacturing units or supply chain units or whatever type of collaboration you want to do with the company the yes. gujarat uh, yes. the local companies up there that is the concept and there there might be you know there might be a lot of other departments of the government which will get involved when you know there is a big company coming up or setting up a big thing so Gussel becomes a nodal agency to contact those agencies and try to help them to get their clearances or guide them. You know, sometimes the clearances will have to be taken by this foreign company because they will have to apply, they will have to do the application. So all those things we will be there to assist them and support them. Right. So so far, so far, I would like to know how many companies have approached and how many companies have shown already interest with the uh, with the partnerships. See, uh, since we have just started our journey. Uh, you know tata is already there you know yes, with the aerospace you know that is a major big thing which has come to this state there are companies which have actually indulged with us in discussion like airbus and other you know boeing and all uh, that like discussions have taken at higher level you know it's not come to the stage where we are going to interact with them but then there are smaller companies who have interacted with us when we take part in this such expo like this expo where i am here today we had a company called jewel you know they came they met us here and they have set up an entire unit and then structure you know uh, of building you know the uh, landing gear the parts and other thing in rajkot by just coming to this and this was done by gutse and they are like there are other small such companies also which have started doing their small parts and unit kind of manufacture in a show like defexpo going back to defexpo a show like defexpo definitely uh, highlighted um, uh, the the possibilities in gujarat so after that till now air india how much has been the progress after defense expo uh, what has happened because there were the many foreign companies who lot came and yes, so yes lot of company came but then you know and we went into the our election mode so and we have just come out of the election phase this is the time after our, we are vidhan sabha is now on i think so after that we will see lot of interest which will be coming out of the out uh, from the fallout of the defense expo presently we had been very busy with the election we have not interacted with any any ss company from good sales side okay i will be very specific now for aero india uh, among the foreign companies that are visiting here what has been the response for among the foreign companies which have visited here you know um, as as the at the gutsal gutsal stall we haven't had much of interaction with them because see they are not aware of us yes so we they will they will be coming aware through the media like you through your channel yes, and all exactly. once they come get aware then then our interaction will increase you know so today today is this our second or third uh, third, uh, aero, third year in the aero expo and we 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 were focusing at small component manufacture made in india manufacturing units that was our target when we started this now we are subsequently now since we have a lot of uh, we created land banks and land mass you know which will be required for this big companies since we have now so we will be actually going to them and with our exposure through media i think so we will be attracting them so 
I presume now you are perfectly ready, the ground is perfectly ready to uh, start approaching the foreign companies, the kind of uh, infrastructure they want from you. It is ready with you. Yes. So we are we are ready and we will probably take another maybe about four or five months to be able to have our documents and other things ready for which, you know, so they would need some kind of uh, input for them to invest. So we have our consultants, we have consultants on board for our cargo policy, consultant on board for civil aviation policy, consultant on board for uh, developing, you know, an aviation park. So, you know, we have these big consultant firms who are actually studying international models and be able to prepare a document which could be given to them so that they understand what we can provide them. And these are the consultants who will study and get their requirements, what they need from us. Great. Thank you so much, sir. It was uh, really uh, wonderful to know about Goodsell and I'm sure in near future more companies are going to approach you since you are ready with your infrastructure and uh, the best part is you are very focused exactly how you want to um, tempt the, these foreign investors and uh, all the companies around the world to come to Gujarat and set up their business. Thank you so much for your Thank time you. and we really look forward the next time when we speak we have more companies to be at. Thank, Thank you so you. much.